a long time since I've lived there, but I have a lot of good friends and relatives there. So. You left when you were a young girl and you went right to yes. New York City. Yes, because I knew that New York was the place. You're smart. That is true for yeah. theater. Yes. yes, that is very true. Tell me something. First Broadway show, Bobby Morris. That's right. In you reminded me how to succeed in business without really trying. Uh -huh. Tell me about those days. Oh, it was fantastic. I mean, uh, I, I consider myself so lucky when I think of the people I worked with, like Frank Lesser before he died was the uh -huh. composer. Mm -hmm. A. Burroughs was our director, mm -hmm. uh, Cy Fuhr and Ernie Martin, who, by the way, as circles are completed, are the producers of the film chorus line. Uh -huh. And uh, it was a Pulitzer Prize winning uh, musical. That's and it. at the time, uh, I, I was lucky to be in a hit. Mm -hmm. you know, I didn't realize what, that it doesn't happen that often. Uh -huh. So I stayed in the show for two years, had a great time. Two years you were in that? Mm -hmm. Oh, marvelous. And from yeah. there, where did you, what happened to Don McKetney right after that? Oh, my gosh. Tell I'd me. have to go back. You were in Promises, Promises. Yes, I, I did uh, television Broadway? work. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Promises, Promises. Again, that was a landmark, I think, uh, for musical theater because Burt Bacharach was the composer mm -hmm. and Hal David, uh -huh. the lyricist. It's the first time they had the kind of uh, contemporary music on Broadway. Uh -huh. So that was... Tell me about like Michael Bennett. I want to get back to Michael. What kind of a guy is Michael Bennett? Oh, well, this is, that's a hard question because uh, he's, he's a incredible, as you know, I mean, the contribution Genius. he's made, yes. Yeah, he is. He's, uh, he's a fantastic uh, talent. Uh -huh. Someone said, Bob Avian, I think, said for, um, the, for knowing him as long as he's known him and worked with him, mm -hmm. he may not have an idea you may not think he has an idea for the longest time, and then there's 10 seconds of genius, and uh -huh. it will all come together. <laughs> so he's, uh, and he's got the right idea now about musical theater in New uh -huh. York, uh -huh. which I think more people are following, where you do, you develop projects in a workshop atmosphere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tony Award winner. Tell me, Donna, how did that feel to be a Tony Award winner? First Tony well, Award fantastic. winner in Broadway. Yes. It's fantastic. Really? I mean, it was, um, look, Th how, this how do you... This is for... I was happy to be in this show and to be working, you know, so uh -huh. anything above and beyond that, I felt um, gratified because we were all acknowledged. I, I sound like I'm being very uh -huh. diplomatic, but no, this show was a, such an ensemble piece. I felt um, that I was, you know, accepting it for, uh, for everybody. Uh -huh. But the song, the Mirror song, that mm -hmm. is such a great song. That was the hit of the show. The motion picture's out now. Yeah. Why isn't that song in the picture? I don't know. I was hoping I you would tell me. <laughs> no, I like to because that I would like song to stopped the show on Broadway. Out. Every time you did that. I got phone calls coming in. Maybe someone knows out there. Every song. Every well, time you, know, you did that uh, song. Let me tell you something. If you really want to know my intuition yeah. about this, I think that um, this is just my feeling that, you know, when you try to translate something like Chorus Line mm -hmm. to the screen, uh -huh. it has to be different. And they had to find ways to make their own statement. And I think this is part of the process that that uh -huh. number uh, w did not represent the same things that they were trying to say in the mm -hmm, film. Mm -hmm. That's such a great number, Brian. I love that song. Oh, thanks. So it's it wasn't show? always there. You know, they wrote a couple songs for me in the beginning. Did they really? That we tried in rehearsal and like they what, were just what, too what ambitious. Songs were they? Inside the music. Inside the music. Uh -huh. and no one's ever, I do it in my nightclub act actually to let the audience That's in on hey. what behind that's, the scenes a little bit. That's right. You're here in Hollywood right now. That's right. At the new Roosevelt Hotel. Yes, it's beautiful. Is it really? It's beautiful. It's and the Cinegrill is the room that I appear in. It's a room that, well, you know this room. Yes, I did. I had the showcase there years ago. I had a talent showcase. That's but fantastic. let's not talk about well, me. I'm talking about you. This I room is, yeah. uh, we opened it New Year's Eve. And I appreciate, you know, the, the PR for the, the room because uh -huh. it's so new that no one, you know, this is our, our first chance to really tell people about uh -huh. it. And it's, um, I'm here this weekend, uh -huh. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, two mm -hmm. shows on Saturday, 9 and 11. It is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday? Yeah, 9 o'clock, Thursday and Friday. And two shows on Saturdays. Saturday. And, and it's a beautiful place. There's, it's, it's unique. There's mm -hmm. no place like it in this city, I don't mm -hmm. think. Who goes after you, Donna? Who opens there after you? Uh, you I think close? Amanda McBroom. Uh-huh. So they are using names then. They're going to be using, uh, David Galligan is booking it that's from right. Drama Long. Yeah. And he's booking the room now, I'm saying. Yes. Saying. Well, yeah. that's great. It's all new, uh, so when you come and see it, you know, uh, it's, it's uh, you're the, in on the ground floor of something. I hear the entrance is just plush. Oh, it's gorgeous. They've recreated, they didn't change anything. They Whatever tiles that were there in the, th whenever the mm -hmm. 30s, whenever, uh -huh. they've, they've redone them or they've tried to stay right to the blueprint of, uh, you know, the that's, original concept. That's, that hotel was the first Dick Cabney Awards were held right. at the Orange Blossom Room. There's a lot of history. Yes, there is. I, I love that hotel. I, it's a 
big hotel, and it's a lovely hotel. But downtown in Hollywood, it, you know, I don't know if it's going to make it or not. I just don't well, know, Donna, because it's Hollywood Boulevard. But, it's, you know, with this, this, if... I don't The know. fact that they did not tear this hotel down, yeah. that they kept it, and then put it, so much money into it mm -hmm. to beautify it and to keep a sense of tradition, mm -hmm. uh, I think that says a lot about the, po you know, the, the politicians behind it are trying to pave the way. It's, it's, it's a very, uh, I think a good sign that uh -huh. they're going to really make the efforts in the to I see. to keep the uh, mm -hmm. I mean to build the, the communities involved mm -hmm. now with it. Don McKetney, tell me something. You've been dancing, you've been singing since how old? Oh, since you were a little girl? Yeah. In dancing, Detroit. In dancing, Detroit? Yes. In, 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 I was a little dancing? ballet girl. Really, really? Real ballet student. Your mother take care of you know, she no, she's she, not one of those ladies? No, not at all. She isn't. Huh? No, she was totally shocked and surprised that uh -huh. I Continued as long as I did. That I what had part of kind Detroit are you from originally? What area? Um, like Birmingham. Dearborn? I studied in Dearborn. Yeah, because I, I did a club there. I worked yeah. at a club called the Day, uh, Gay Haven with uh, J.P. Morgan years oh. ago in the 50s. Yeah. It was a very popular I club. I don't well, do you ever I No, I don't know. But I lived, I lived, and I grew up in areas like the uh, other side yeah, of right. Birmingham, Bloomfield Hills. And uh, fairy tales. Tell me about fairy tales. Uh, Shelley D. Bowles. Uh, oh, yes, ah, I that's know about yes, that. Yes, You did wonderful. an episode? Yes, The Little Mermaid. It's coming out. It's a beautiful show. I mean, what she's, I like her a lot for, uh, besides being a fan of hers, uh -huh. uh, she has a wonderful thing here in, in that she gets everybody, they, they, they produce it so well uh -huh. um, that everybody just loves to, to work for them because they, they have such beautiful, every show is very innovative. They, for the fantasy, they create, um, they have to invent uh -huh. ways to create this fairy tale, uh, the production values. I and think it's uh, a great show. I think it's a great idea. She came up with oh, a it's wonderful. fantastic idea. It's we a whole really library, and I've seen them now. They sell them uh -huh. in the, the video stores. Uh, you uh -huh. can have a collection of, the, of all the Grimm So yours tales. is coming out when? Uh, you have Mermaid coming out, I think, in this a few year. weeks. This year? Yeah. Is it coming out? Yeah. Great. I see. I love that. And you've done a lot of television, too, haven't you? Like Cheers. You've been on Cheers and Family yes, Tides. Yeah. Tell me about that. Do you like uh, doing those sitcoms? I do, and I, I think those are two really good shows. Because you were on Fame I, for a long yes, time. Yes, I like Fame, too, because they're conscientious, and um, um, I may be prejudiced about certain kinds of shows, but a lot of television I don't like. You know, I don't good, like to watch good. it. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I've been lucky to work on very good shows. You have and, fa uh, fame. is very good. Yeah. They really care about it. They put a lot of work into it. They all work very hard on that show, Very don't hard. Yeah. You know, there is a gentleman right now I'd like you to meet. He, he has got a... Sh just closed on a show, I, I think. I love him. At the Beverly Hills Playhouse. He's Ray's, just great. Ray Strickland. Yes. I understand you went to see him. Oh, the recently. last night. The last night? Oh, yes. I think he is just wonderful. I, I knew Tennessee Williams very well. I yes. knew him very, very well, yeah. And and this gentleman just, just shocked me when I... When I saw him, I went to see him, and he's just, he's just incredible. Yes. And he's an incredible, in matter of fact, he's just going to be winning the uh, Drama Log Critic Award this sh Sunday, I think. It's going to, he's, Great. he's well, up for the award. He deserves it. Yes. Ray Strickland. That's I'd like right. you to meet him. Ray, how are you? Congratulations, well, first of all. Well, thank on you. Your, I know. On I, your yeah. Critic yeah. Award, my Drama uh, Award. Yeah, that's my nice. My God. Yeah. Ray, tell me, what's happening uh, with that show? I mean, it's closing. Now, tell me, I want to know what, what you're going to do about it. Oh, that. I feel very sad that it's closed, although it was, was my own choice, because we were doing very well. We ran Ray, in. I think yes. we're going to click you on. Yeah, click me on. Yeah, yeah, just push that in so we can All hear right. you more. Just, <laughs> I'm sorry. I ran a year to a day, uh -huh. a year and a day. Uh -huh. And uh, as, as you said, we closed last Sunday. But I closed it because it looks like the show's going to New York. Everyone tells me it is. And, uh, I hope it does, because yeah, I have well, a lot of friends in New York are waiting for you to come there. I uh, it, it, it scares me a little, because they they're not too kind, the critics there, to L.A. actors. But, um, but you're not well, an L.A. actor, Ray. That's true, because no one would give me a job here. So. <laughs> no. I, can, I consider myself <laughs> not an L.A. actor. You're not an L.A. actor. No. You're a New York actor, same as... As uh, well, Don McKetney, she is. been a, away for many years. So. You know, it's I. You're not. Uh, you're very theater. You're very He's New York. He's an actor. He is an he actor. He is an actor. Yes, he Consummate. is. Consummate. Thank you. Yes, yeah. and but the show. But now you're doing uh, Kobe's. Well, as a result, I said I, I didn't get a job. I I did finally. Uh, uh -huh. Esther and Richard Shapiro, who are the exec producers on Dynasty. Uh -huh 
came to see my play about four months ago, and they came backstage and said they liked it and that I'd be hearing from them. Well, I just filed that away, thinking, sure. Mm -hmm. But lo and behold, I got a call one day from my agent and said, you're not going to believe this. They've written a special mm. part guest for part for you. Wonderful. There's hope. For three well, episodes. We don't have to go uh, back to New York. We can stay here. So. But, the theater is, <laughs> but the theater is coming here. There is theater yeah. in all, L.A. Isn't there, Donna? I think more and more. What do you think, Oh, well, I, I, I think, certainly think so. I think know. there is. And I, good theater. Good because theater. there are a lot of New Yorkers are here. That's what it is. Absolutely. All the New Yorkers are coming here. That's right. And I think there's a lot of good theater here. But that theater, I think that show would be wonderful in New York. I really do. Well, I, I The show is called, let people know what the Well, it's, it's uh, I play Tennessee Williams in a, a visit with him, really. Uh, it's called Confessions of a Nightingale. And mm -hmm. I closed it, as I started to say, to work on some new material mm -hmm. before New York, hopefully. And uh, so that I, I got to, I tried to incorporate some of the new material while running the show. Uh -huh. And while sometimes it worked, I found it confusing. And I'd think, now where am I? You know, and so I thought I better close it and just concentrate on mm -hmm. adding the new stuff. Uh -huh. so. Did you ever, did you ever, uh, have you known Tennessee? I knew Tennessee, oh, 25 years ago uh -huh. when I was a kid and had first gone to New York. Uh -huh. I, I met him by chance and eventually typed for him. I did uh -huh. script revisions on Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Uh -huh. But I was so young and naive, yes. I, I don't really remember uh -huh. other than being in awe of him mm -hmm. too well. And then. Years later, in the early 70s, I did Camino Real at, at the Alley Theater in Houston, and Tennessee came to see a performance, but uh -huh. it was toward the, he was in a very bad way with mm -hmm. his drinking. And do you know he didn't want to be buried in, uh, in Missouri at all? In St. Louis. He did not. No, that's what I hear. His yeah. brother did that. That's a terrible thing to do, because he did not want to be buried there. Yeah. He really didn't. He didn't, he, well, that's the f he had a lot of family problems anyway. That's what happened to him in the institute. I mean, when he got into the uh, institution. The loony bin. The loony bin, goes. yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> they, they took him, they took him, yeah. But anyway, Ray, tell me something. The Kobe's. Oh, well, it, I, it was, but first of all, just to have someone write a part for you was, was very nice. I call it Tennessee Williams visits the Colby's because <laughs> it was basically. I did see one episode with you playing the doctor. I yeah. thought you were wonderful, and you did remind me of Tom. I must tell you, uh, you did. You scared me a little. <laughs> well, I, I was did. a psychiatrist trying to save Fallon, and I think I saved her much too quickly. I, uh -huh. I got her well, very fast. <laughs> uh -huh. but, Good doctor. Uh, yes. <laughs> as I said, the whole that whole family's so sick. I should have a job for years. <laughs> but. Uh, Barbara Stanwyck was, uh, well, of course, she's a lovely an lady. idol, and she she was particularly warm and, and generous to me. So that that made me feel better. Yeah, you're working with professional people. Yeah, there. Hes I mean, Charlton people. Heston yes. and John James, of course, uh -huh. Emma Sam. Curtis Harrington is directing. I understand. <laughs> he directed the first episode I uh -huh. did. Uh, Harry Hart, I believe. Uh huh. Directed the second one. Second, yeah. And, uh, Curtis was on my show. I had Curtis with, uh, who did I have? Herd Hatfield, uh, Rosemary? I think so. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, Herd Hatfield, he brought Herd Hatfield here for me. And Curtis is just wonderful. He yeah. is a great director. Curtis is one of the first uh, directors I met <coughs> when I came to Hollywood many really? years ago. In fact, we, we shared the same house, not at the same time, but uh -huh. I moved in the same house after him. Uh -huh. And of course, it never worked for him until all these years later. But mm -hmm. he's wonderful. Donna, tell me about my you know, my getting my act together about those days. I mean, you were just here with oh, that, weren't you? you mean the play? Or the play, the, the play, yeah. I did that uh, in Chicago, actually, That's at the Drury right. Lane Theater. Uh -huh. I went for a month, uh -huh. and uh, I took over for Gretchen Cryer, who was the writer, right. and uh, I thought, why am I leaving? It's standing room only. It this was. This is a good it, job, yeah. you know? Uh -huh. So I stayed for six months, and that, that enabled me to make the transition to Los Angeles, because I was halfway here, and I thought, uh -huh. what the heck? Do you I like LA? I do like you it. You do. I you're, love, is your sister home now? Or? I love living here. Yeah. Is this your home too, right, mm -hmm. right now? Mm -hmm. right. I yeah. see. Yeah. I, I finally had it with the apartment dwelling and the noise and the, you know, maybe there's another time in the future I'll be back there, but right now I just love it here. But don't you miss New York, though, really? Not really. You no. really do. But she goes no. back so often. I do. I, I go back and forth, but I feel like a person here. Uh huh. 
person. What do you person, mean by that? A, a human I, being. I, I see. Okay. <laughs> There's um, room to uh, breathe and to you know have a personal life and and I love you fly away, but to, you come back. I'd love to walk though in New York City. You can't walk here. I like you to can walk. walk here. Not really. People are driving. It's not the same. You it's not the same. Yeah, it's, it's not, not the same. Either. Tell me about Get Happy. I love that. Uh, that. Oh, Harold Arlen. Yes, yes you did. Magnificent. Here, yeah, we. It was wonderful. People, we really love his music. And uh, at some point, I wish there could be a, a show that we that we could do Harold Arlen and uh, and have it, you know, go on a little longer. Uh -huh. But uh, he's fantastic. That was. I love that. Show, that. That music, especially. Yes, right. And table setting, how about that? Oh, that was I've had, Joe, you reminding me of all these things I really enjoyed. Yes, yeah. I, that's why I'm bringing James Lapine, really. Yes, it's yes, nice it was here in LA, wasn't it? Things. You forget table you do these. was in LA? Yes. Where was it? Uh, my that? first uh, play here was at the Matrix Theater. The Matrix Theater on Melrose. Yes. Which is a very popular oh, very, street. Very, very, very good work. Yes, excellent. Yeah, that's when like, you think about, when I did the, the uh, what was it, the Drama Critics Award show, I, as a, I was a performer on it, and I, I realized. Uh, that there had been 400 plays that opened in the LA area a couple uh -huh. years ago, uh -huh. okay. so it's a it's a renaissance in a way. It's uh -huh. a, it's exciting. Ray, the one man show of uh, Tennessee Williams. When you're out there, I mean, how do you get yourself geared? How do you do that? How do you prepare yourself when you're? I mean, well, a one-man show. Doing, one man show. You know, you're a doing a one-man show. show. I now yeah. know what someone like Donna goes through. Who performs in a club or uh -huh. something, a one-person show. It's right. Because it's you really you it's hanging out there. Yeah. Although in, in someone like Donna's case, it's they're really exposing themselves. Yes. Where I, I, you're I you're still not. have a character. That's what I mean. Yeah, but so yeah. That, uh, that's, there's a slight difference. How do you get yourself prepared for being oh, out I there pray as Tracy Williams? <laughs> <laughs> no, I you pray don't. a lot. Yes, I do. Backstage, I, I have my little uh, moment of quiet and uh -huh. then just Walk out try there. to they hang loose, have fun, uh, take your time. Uh, mm -hmm. It's so spontaneous. Where do you come from, Ray? Uh, Houston, originally. Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. you. I see. Because you have that charming, drawing uh, accent, well, doesn't he, Derek? I went mm -hmm. all, all my life trying to get rid of that and did pretty well until suddenly I'm playing Tennessee and uh -huh. now it's there again. It's the best thing that ever happened to me is uh -huh. bringing that southern accent back. So you, how did you uh, went to, right to New York from when you? Uh, yes, a very young kid. I was about uh, sixteen. I graduated from high school, and I thought New York couldn't wait for right. me. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I did indeed. And uh, what some of the things in New York have you done? Well, I like my first Broadway show was a play, a Moss Hart play called *The Climate of Eden*, uh -huh. which was Rosemary Harris's first show. We were brother and sister. And I love her. And uh, I was fortunate enough to win a Theater World Award for most promising, one of the most promising of the season. Uh -huh. Others being people that you've never heard of, like Paul Newman and Geraldine <laughs> Page and <laughs> Rosemary. <laughs> and you wonder what happened to them. Uh, and Kim Stanley, let's leave, don't well, leave her Well, she wasn't that year, but uh, <laughs> she yeah. wasn't. Uh, Sherry North, I remember uh -huh. was that year. Uh -huh. uh, Gwen Verdon, they had some terrific people. Um, then Hollywood beckoned, and uh, I think I made a mistake coming here so early after I'd had a cup. I did Grass Harp also, the mm -hmm. German composer. Mm. So you came from New York early here? Yeah, and I, I, I wish I'd stayed in New York longer and established the stage career more. I think it was, but uh -huh. it's the mistakes uh -huh. I think I made. And I was so young looking. When I was 25, which is about the age when I came to Hollywood, uh -huh. I looked about 15. Oh, I see. And so I, I arrived, ironically, the day Jimmy Dean was killed, who had been a friend of mine. Oh so my. I always remember uh, when I arrived in Hollywood. I was in Canada, Montreal, that day, working at the El Morocco, mm -hmm. and I was got the news on stage. Yes, I remember that, mm -hmm. that James Dean was just Well, killed. I arrived at the airport. And you were here. My, my agent and his wife mm -hmm. came running to the gates. I got in early that morning, uh -huh. and Jimmy had been killed during the night, and the headlines, you know, like that. What Not, a way to arrive yeah. in Hollywood. I had James Bacon on my show, and James told me the day that ja uh, remember David, he said that, um, you weren't here that day? James Bacon said that when uh, he saw um, James Dean the night before he got killed at the Italian restaurant in Hollywood, mm -hmm. at the Villa Capri, yeah. he drew, I mean, he rushed in with his little car. He'd rushed, just gotten it. Yeah. Just gotten it. Rushed in, and James Bacon says, you better behave yourself. You're going to get killed that way. And the next day, he got mm. killed. Isn't that amazing? Wonderful. Yes. Wonderful talent. Yeah. 
Yes, he was brilliant. Do you think he would have been a big star today if he... Oh, that's so hard that's, to say. It is, isn't it? crazy business. I would like to think he would be, because mm -hmm. he was a special talent. Mm -hmm. He I was, have, wasn't he? I have to think. Yeah. Donna McKetney, big film up there. I mean, big screen. I mean, wouldn't you like to do some big movies? I mean, sure. I mean, you're perfect. <laughs> I think you are. Dear. Now, why sure. Course Line didn't... Why, why, what happened to Course Line, to, uh, the film? Well... I, I don't know. I mean, you know. I think you. I, I really don't know. I mean, I'm being honest. I don't know, except that I think um, again, I'm using some kind of because uh, you're beautiful, you're well, talented. I don't think it has to do. I think it has to do with when you depart from the stage. Yeah. And you have an, another director. Don't you think the directors need, especially in film, to make their own statements? Yeah. They yeah. have to discover their own. They want to. Way, especially look at this. The history on this. It traveled around from director to studio to director to writer just for eight years. Yes. Just getting it made was so important. And uh -huh. um, I think that they wanted to do a 1980s version, and they... They did it, yeah. They did it. Yeah. What would you advise the young people coming to Hollywood, you know, uh, a young actress or young promising, you know, a girl who really wants to come to Hollywood and, or get into show business? Well, and, I, you know... What would you advise I, I would advise anyone going to either Hollywood or New York or wanting to be in theater or film or television is that don't be in such a rush, mm -hmm. even though there's a pressure on, you know, we see, you know, people now are 12 years old that uh -huh. are doing leading women part. You, you know, mean, don't rush it? Don't rush. They're Patience. fantastic. When I toured uh, this past year all over the country, I met very talented kids in schools and I talked to, you know, certain performing arts uh -huh. colleges. And I really feel this is true. There's so you have to get your training in your town, where you're, or if you have to go to another yes, town. Yes. Don't be so quick to come to L.A. or yeah. New York. Make sure you have the confidence of your of knowing that you have a technique. Mm -hmm. You have a you can make your work available to you, your talent, uh -huh. so that when you, the obstacles, right? When you you come up against all True. the different. Um, Rejections, it's, it's you know, persistence it's, too, isn't it, Donna? It's really yes, persistence, you need, and patience, and persistence. It's the work is the most important thing, and you have to be prepared. Work in front of an audience. You have to be prepared to when you get the opportunity to know what you're doing. That's why you have to study and I stay. See. Don't be so quick to come to New York and study. Also, mm -hmm. teachers in New York charge a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You know, if you take a voice lesson in New York, it's fifty dollars for half an hour. <laughs> So, I mean, you should stay in college. I mean, if there's performing mm -hmm. arts schools, you should stay there and... Mm -hmm. I see. Does that answer your question? Yes, it I does. Can go no, on, that's you know. right, Donna. This you is just, a matter of fact, you've been up <laughs> since 6 o'clock this morning doing a yeah, lot of I'm interviews. Awake now. Yes, you are. <laughs> but tell me something. You were, uh, you were doing the uh, benefit for the AIDS today. You did something for yes, the AIDS? Yes, we had a press conference. The, re the information went out today that there's going to be a, a wonderful uh, program uh, in the evening. Uh, February 10th in Scottsdale, Arizona, uh -huh. uh, of which they are, during the day, I imagine this is going to happen, they're going to uh, auction Arabian horses, 10 mm -hmm. fantastic horses, and their goal is to um, make over a million dollars for AIDS research. Uh-huh. And, uh, That's nice. yes, and Elizabeth Taylor was given the award of the Woman of the Year, uh -huh. uh, Woman of the, am I getting this right? Woman of the Year yes. for this new AIDS uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. project, and she spoke very beautifully and personally about her commitment to it and uh, mm -hmm. so she you know is waving the the banner and, and bringing everybody around and along with it. I like I like stars that are helping people young performers big names like Liza Minnelli she is helping a young man by the name of Michael Feinstein right now mm -hmm. but that is a nice thing to do young people you know th that is nice to go out there a big performers names like that are helping young very talented promising performers and I thought that was a very nice gesture of a lady yes. like uh, Liza Minnelli to go out there and do that. It's a lovely thing. Ray, that play, new, I got The Nightingale, it's got to go to New York and, or bring it back here. We've got to do something. Happen, huh? I may do a few extra performances here if all the New York uh, production works out. Uh, just a few private performances to uh -huh. try out the new material and invite. Right. Real quickly, yeah. Nightingale. Some of the sub, uh, just some of the little dialogue. Can you just give? Oh my just goodness. is it difficult? Just to say uh, a few, just a few things. <laughs> Tennessee Williams. I hate to throw that at you, if you can, or if you yeah. would like to. And I naughty. Yes, you are. Aren't I know, terrible. <laughs> you didn't prepare well, me. No, we don't have to prepare you, Ray. I'll just. Oh, uh, just it's almost as bad as what is Michael Bennett like? Uh, <laughs> am I? Am I really? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to think just, of a. Just. 
anything of Tennyson. Well, at the, I, I just think at the very end of the play, or toward the end, yes. uh, he says, in the final analysis, yes. isn't all of life just an attempt to escape loneliness? Uh -huh. The search for another warm body with a warm mind. That's the ultimate sex, if it can ever be achieved. That's when the nightingale really sings. That's how the play ends. That's beautiful. That it is, is beautiful. It is yes, lovely. it's lovely. I love, I love, you know, I met Tom in Bangkok. That's how I met him years ago in Bangkok. I was working the American forces. I was entertaining the troops there. And I met him in Thailand. And he was just a perfect, perfect gentleman. He's such a nice man. Mm -hmm. He really is. A lovely man. Did you, did you ever meet him? No. No. no, but I felt I did when I saw when you the see, performance when you, you, that Ray yeah. did. I felt uh -huh. I forgot that I knew the actor Ray Strickland. That I th I uh -huh. felt I was, uh -huh. you know, listening to a Tennessee Williams. So, Roosevelt Hotel tonight. You're going to perform. Yes, nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, Donna. Oh, we she's have terrific. To I went to Is, New Year's Eve. It was fabulous. I'm going, Thank you. Yeah. I'm going oh. Saturday to see her. I'm just excited. Yeah, I'm going again too. So I'm oh, going Saturday okay, night. Thanks. I'm so excited Great. to see her. Oh, I, I, I hear great. She does a about. Ruth Edding medley. That's, uh -huh. uh, I oh, think I'd love Ruth Edding. Yes. Really? Yeah. My favorite now. Oh, it's I a love new, Yeah, oh, I do too. wonderful. You just stopped the shows on Broadway for me with that music in the, uh, and the mirror. And the mirror. That is such a great song. I have a talent showcase in town at.